Matt, there in the last couple minutes of the first half, obviously they had made some shots, got out to a lead. It seemed like you were able to force some turnovers, and that really kind of changed the game. Ronnie had the, the six straight points, Sandy had a couple points, all off turnovers. Right. Was that kind of the turning point? I, I think, um, you know, for us, we, we didn't have some clean switches early in the game in, in terms of what they were doing, and they really exposed us when we had breakdowns, and they did a very good job at that. And, um, we had some good looks in the first half, just not go down. But um, like anything, whether it's transition or an offensive rebound, you got to be able to steal some points. And I thought that was really important for our confidence when we were able to get in transition and, and steal some points there at the end of the first half. Matt, you uh, go into an event like this and you get, you know, your two seniors in different ways really contributed. Drew, maybe one of his best overall right. games. DJ hits the big threes. And your freshmen all got to play a lot of minutes and were your leading scorers. That's kind of the blueprint of what goes into making a decision, isn't it, to play in a tournament right. like this? Well, obviously, you know, for us, uh, the decision really came down to the success that people have had uh, in the CBI that are now in the NCAA tournament. And uh, you know, we talked at length about that before the game. And uh, that was what we really tried to sell to our guys because I think everybody um, that enters this tournament in kind of the same position. You know, now what is the best thing for your program? What is the best thing going forward? And it just made a whole lot of sense for um, our guys. But it's still <coughs> disappointing because we went to six straight NCAA tournaments. Uh, but you got to be mature about it. And uh, I thought our guys handled it uh, great and we were able to push forward. And I thought our two seniors led by example tonight, and that was great. And uh, really had a good team effort. So it was good to see for our guys, and uh, hopefully we can play well on Monday against Santa Clara. Coach, they shot pretty well to start the first half. And uh, when Ronnie came in here, he said that you guys had to increase the effort. Do you think that you guys came out overlooking them, or what was the what was he talking about when he said increase the effort? Well, I, I think what our guys don't understand is there's good players everywhere. And, you know, you go and their leading scorers, both their leading scorers, Western Illinois, you know, aren't playing. So just think of that team right there with their two leading scorers on it. You know, that's, that's a, a very good basketball team. And now you have the next guys, the third and the fourth leading scorers. And the two guys that scored against us in the first half were one guy averaged like three and the other guy averaged like four. Um, but they're good players too. But our, some of our guys, it's kind of a byproduct of youth, they don't look at it that way. Even after 30-some games, you know, you have to understand that. And that just happened to us against Nebraska. Um, you know, there are two leading scorers going into the game. I think one had like four and one had nine, and we got beat by them. Uh, but it's a team game, and everybody can play. And uh, our guys have to do a better job um, of understanding, even though you might not average, you know, 15 points, but you still have the ability to go out and score 15. So um, just um, something we got to continue to grind and, and help our guys with. Drew really stuffed the stat sheet for you tonight, gave a lot of energy off the bench to talk about what he gave you. Well, Drew was great. Um, you know, did a lot of little things for us. Um, distributed the basketball, got loose balls, got long rebounds, um, you know, made some extra passes. Uh, just did the little things to help us win. It, it was good to see him. Matt, it seemed like you really wanted to get the ball inside right away. Was that a product and part of them not having a big guy? Um, <clears throat> Not having a lot of depth there, but we, we do that anyways. Yeah. You know, we're, we're trying to establish our big guys and uh, try to get that inside presence and be able to play at least inside, outside if they double. Uh, but no, I, I thought our guys did a good job. And AJ's got to continue to, to work to fight for position and then be able to, to hold people off. He, he settles and allows, you know, allows the catch at 12 feet. He needs to catch the ball a lot deeper, so we got to continue to work with him.